Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP Elite Book here. So this one is an HP Elite Book 745 model. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to boost the performance, how to make it much, much faster just by replacing the mechanical drive in here with a solid state drive. You can place any solid state drive, which is a SATA 2.5 inch. So it's going to work fine. I'll leave the link in the description for some of the good brands that we use in the store. And you can either use a cheap brands, which are the Kingston. And that's it. So let's get into it and let's get it started. So first thing first, you want to power it off completely. Then you want to flip it upside down. And we're going to get the tool. The only tool that we're going to be using is the iFixit tool set or a screwdriver set. And the reason I use this tool set is because of the bits are made out of the S2 class steel. That means they're really toughen up its bits. So we're going to grab the Phillips number one from this tool set. Now to remove the bottom cover, simply just have to pull this trigger toward this position and then slide it towards the front and then just grab it from the bottom and bring it up. Now, and the hard drive is right away here. They have some instruction right on it too. But in order to remove the hard drive, you do not need to remove the battery. Don't worry, just leave it the way it is. Remove the four screws that hold the caddy. So one, two, three, four screws. Go ahead and remove these four screws. These screws, they have a seal lock on them, so it will not come out completely. You just have to loose them up. You will have, I believe, to slide it towards the battery. So we do need to remove the battery in order to be able to slide it towards the battery. Some models don't. In order to remove the battery, first remove the, any warranty label that you have. You might not have this label here because this laptop been in different shop. And some shops love putting some labels on their laptop. Alright, and the lock on this battery is broken, should be some like like that. So you're gonna put down on lock position. This one too, so bring it down. Only this one I can't reach, so I'm gonna use a tweezer to pull it down and then grab this plastic and pull it upward towards the ceiling. And put the battery to one side. Now we're going to grab it from this side and we're just going to slide it out. So there's your hard drive, which is attached to a caddy. To remove the hard drive away from the caddy, there's one and two, three, four screws. So we have to remove the hard drive from here. Remember the orientation for the caddy with the hard drive. So the SATA connector, SATA connector and power connector have to be in the same position. If so, if you try to put the hard drive inside the caddy the other way around, it's not going to match the contact right there. All right, so to remove the hard drive from the caddy, just unscrew it from the sides. Once you remove, just slide out the hard drive. This is a Toshiba uh, 7200 RPM 500 gigabyte. You can use it as an external hard drive. I'll leave the link in the description for some caddies that you can use to convert it to a USB. Grab the new one. Bring it on, align it all the way in, and place the screws for it. Once you got the new drive in there, don't worry about the extra space that you get because this, the SSDs are a little slim, but that doesn't affect anything. Just bring it on, and it slides it all the way to the right, and tighten up the four screws, and then grab the battery, Put the back end down and bring it over and snap it down and lock it in place. Also remember once you upgrade the hard drive to a new hard drive, you will not have any operating system installed. So uh, you will need to go to my video description. There's a link I put how to create a Windows USB boot drive. It's really simple. Um, with a USB boot drive, you can just plug it in here, power it on, pressing F, escape and then F9. Then you can boot it straight from the boot drive and then you will have simply uh, follow the instru instruction for installation of the windows and within 10 minutes or less you have your new windows 10 installed again the link on those uh, for those videos is in my video description and the last thing would be to grab the bottom cover bring it over and 
place it with an offset position and then slide it toward the back and then lock it there. I hope this video helped you guys out and if it did please click that like button and think about subscribing it really helps and motivates me to make more videos and take requests from you guys. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.